So last time we completed the head modeling for this trial guide bait and today we are going to look at the fins. Before we jump into Fusion 360, let's have some design consideration. Because this is going to be a glide bait, so when they glide, they don't really use their dorsal fin or pectoral fins, or sometimes they don't even use the uh, pelvic fins. They tuck in those fins when they glide. So we are going to make the tuck-in version for those fins. Let's start with the pectoral fins. Here we draw the outline first. As you can see, if I draw the outline just like what's in the reference picture, uh, when I project to the body, it's going to be too low and I don't want that. So I purposely move it out a little bit to avoid uh, having the pectoral fin projected on the belly area. Now we have the profile, we are ready to extrude. But remember in the last chapter, when I extrude this piece and uh, I select extend type, to be two object and when I did that I cannot extrude this piece because it intersects with multiple faces so I had to do a workaround and uh, I extrude the profile all the way outside of the body and I combine that piece with the body to get what I want but actually you don't have to do that so here is the extrude again and we select the extent type to be two object and we select the object but now set the extent to two adjacent faces and once we did that it will become a legal operation just need to set the operation to new object and actually because later on I need to move it out and actually you can do that right here just set the offset and you have to set it to a negative number so it will be extruding out of the body itself say ok and now we have this piece in one step now I add the fillet to smooth out the edges to add the details on the pectoral fins uh, first I draw some lines and then project those lines to the surface of the pectoral fin. Then I turn those lines into pipes and actually they are triangle pipes because I want to have a sharp cut into the pectoral fin. Unfortunately, we have to do this operation one by one for those cuts. Uh, I cannot select uh, multiple lines and make them into a group of pipes. For the pelvic fin, I use the same approach. Draw outline, extrude, add in the fillet, Draw detail lines, project to surface, making a triangular pipe cut. Again, since we are making the glide bait version of this trout, so I make the pelvic fin tucked in. For those vertical fins, I draw the outlines all together. And again, we are making the glide bait, so I'm going to tuck in the dorsal fin and uh, make a smaller version of the anal fin.
Once I have those profiles, I extrude them to the same thickness. And but later on, I feel like it won't look right. I want to taper this down so it's thinner in the edge. So what I did was I create some some lines that I can use to construct the plane at angle. And then I construct those plane at angles. So I have those planes. And then I use those planes to cut those fins. And that's the result. So I think that will look more natural where the edge is thinner. And then I combine those with the main body. Next is to add the fillet at those edges. And also add the fillet at the uh, intersect point of the fins and bodies for this two. Next is to uh, cut the detail of the fins. So I use a different approach than the previous one. So here I am building uh, some cutting tool with pipe form. So I select the plane I select this plan and draw outlines on this plan and then make it into a pipe form like this. It's lying on top of the plan of the fin, dorsal fin. Well, actually not this one because uh, I didn't draw from that plan. I draw from the center plan. But anyways, you can draw those lines on the center plane and move it or draw on the plane that you want to cut directly. So once I move it out to the surface of the dorsal fin, then I combine and cut. That's how I get those lines. So this is a little bit different than the uh, pelvic fin or pectoral fin that I had earlier. They look different because the cut is rounded inside while the previous cut is sharp inside. Either one has its own characteristics, so depends on what you are going for. And I'm not going to add detail on this adipose fin. And I'll use the same approach for this anal fin. Draw the outline, make the pipe form, and make the cut tool, and then combine. Make the cut, and that's it. For the tail fin, I use a little bit different approach here. Instead of extrude in this way, and then split the tail fin using the plane at an angle, I extrude, so I draw a profile on the horizontal plane, and then I will extrude that profile vertically. So that's this profile, as you can see, it's tapered down to the tip, so it's thinner at the end. I extrude that all the way, make it big enough. And then I split this object with the tail fin profile. And then add the fillet. And the rest is similar to the previous approach. Just draw the outline for the tail fin detail, make it a pipe form so I can use it as a cutting tool. And because I, again, I draw the line on the center plane, so it's not ready to cut. Uh, the better way is to just draw on this plane. But anyway, after we move it and then combine using the cut operation. And that's the result. After I make the mirror image of this, I got a whole tail piece. And I plan to make this uh, tail piece using the mold with soft plastic. That's why it has to be separated from the main body. Now make the mirror for the main body. Okay, and the last is cutting this tailpiece out from the main body. So combine. So the target, 
select tool. Uh, I want to keep tool. Say OK. So now I have the tail cut out. Now there you have it, the entire body for the trout model. I don't plan to add the scales on this trout model because they are so tiny and I will just use the airbrush to create the scales. To make it a glide bait, we'll have to make the joint and cut the weight chamber and the space for wire harness. But this should be a good base for many other applications. I can even turn it into a big soft plastic swim bait. So thanks for following along. I will have some follow-ups in terms of how I make use of it. Please let me know if any of those tutorial steps are not clear or you want to see how to model some other specific objects. I will see you next time. Happy modeling!